it's a what kind of day, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, what? I'm putting on some Modern Warfare 3, there's nothing really to do the whole day until tonight. There's going to be uh, this the hospital tour thing that Amanda and I are doing. We're going to go see the, the Birthland or whatever it is that you go do, so I just... Fuck, that's not till 7.30 tonight, and it's like noon, and uh, fucking waiting, and I guess I better be entertaining. I accomplished another thing on my bucket list. I have uh, leveled up in Call of Duty again. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good thing. It's uh, this goal that I've had uh, since I was about 12 to uh, beat a video game, beat this video game, yeah. Hi, sweetie. Oh, hi, Micah. Hi, Micah. Sweetie, why aren't you helping Micah inside? Micah? Amanda's really pregnant and just laying around trying to take it easy. We're gonna fucking go to the thing or whatever when it gets dark, because it'll be dark by the time it's time to go. Cat Mania! It's time to go now, and Amanda still hasn't filmed anything. So that's her, that's Amanda in the video. That's all you get today, apparently, because she's refusing. Yeah, I can't even hear the voice. On my way to the exciting hospital tour, I wonder what uh, is going to happen. I'm kind of hoping it's not a group tour, you know, like all these fat pregnant ladies walking around like, oh, this is the room I'm going to be spreading my legs in and shooting a human out of? Oh. Just had to get some NOS before we go to the hospital, eh? Yeah, I'm gonna go in there and be like... Sometimes I go pick up NOS for Max at the store and then whenever people see me buying NOS and they see my pregnant belly, they look at me like... The guy was like, WHAT THE FUCK?! Anyways, see how these are codes? You gotta save them because they can, you can get some really cool NOS gear for Twisted Metal. I tried to download the fucking Twisted Metal demo and it didn't work, so I was like, okay, that's great. That really makes me want to buy your game. It's just an, an install mess up, that's no! all. No! Got my prep prep or what? Birthing prep program handouts? Hey, you stink. <laughs> and so do you. Wipe your ass. We made it. Going to a different part of a hospital is always a little confusing at first, but luckily we live in a small town and the hospital's relatively small. It must be really annoying for people in Toronto. Well, I did have to go to a hospital in Toronto and it sucks. Look at this. It's like they're trying to make this couple look like they're, you know, bad and young and careless with tattoos, piercings, you know, it's like, we know what's best for our baby. I guess, uh, I'm pretty renegade. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what's best for my baby, too, because I got tattoos. <laughs> Anyways, there's like a TV in here, and like, we can put on movies and stuff. Like, how long are we going to be here? Like, you want to put on Aladdin? How long do people be in here for? We finished our tour at the hospital and then we came right home. We were wondering if it was going to be like a group tour or something, but I don't know how many people are actually pregnant in Aurelia right now or anywhere around here. Like that's as far as long as I am. I don't know. I'm, I'm just hoping it's not busy like the day I go in, the night I go in, the day, night, hopefully it's day. This nurse took us around just the maternity ward, showed us all the rooms, showed us all the everything like here's the little mini fridge here's the little weird silver cabinet where we have warm hot blankets for you if you get cold and then I'm like well what if I get hot and she's like well you just strip down and give you ice every room has a shower one of the rooms has a bathtub with jets but that room is first come first serve so I'm I don't know if I really care about a bathtub but some people say it helps but I I don't want to sit in hot water like I get hot fast I guess we'll see when the time comes. But it was good to see what happens when you go in and where everything is and 
what you do, you just go to the door and go in and t tell them why you're here, and then they put you in a, an assessment room, I guess. They wrap something around your belly, see how the baby's doing, and it's just a big process, and then if you're if you're far enough along, they just stick you in a laboring room and tell you how the baby. <sighs> kind of scary. I'm getting scared, and uh, being there was just, like, kind of weird. <laughs> Because, like, I'm going to be there in, like, 30 days. I don't know how much pain it's going to be because everybody says it's different for them. So there's only one little issue now. Is, uh when you have your baby, they put you in a, a room to stay in. And there's a ward room when there's multiple beds and multiple people. Which um, is the basic coverage for people with a health card. Like in Canada, we have a health card and things are paid for. And um, uh, that's... I don't want that. I really don't want to share a room with anyone because, like, how am I and Max supposed to get any sleep if there's, like, a couple in there with, like, a crying baby and, like, you have to share the, like, you have to share a bathroom with everybody, too, and, like, I have, like, a bathroom phobia of sharing and I don't want to shower in there after some bloody lady showered in there, you know? <laughs> So we gotta kinda figure out, like I wrote down, like I'll take a ward room, but I think there's um, there's semi-private rooms and private rooms, but those are $200 and then even more than $200 for a full private. But um, I think we're gonna figure out a way to get a private room. There's a way. And um, I'll fucking tell you how we're gonna get a private room. We're gonna go in there and then who's ever in the private room, I'm gonna go in there and fucking kick the shit out of them and fucking throw the baby into the hall and take their paperwork for the private room and be like, no, this is ours now, so you fucking lost. Yeah, no, um, I already handed my, I handed in my papers to them today, like, what would you like to happen, what's your special requests, all this stuff, and I handed in my paperwork which said what kind of room I'll have, and I said I'll have the, f whatever, the free option, but... No, I'm going to change my mind about that, so I'm going to get that figured out soon so I can have a private room ready for me sometime in the beginning of March. Hi, sweetie. So, yeah, um, I kind of don't like hospitals. I'm weirded out by them. I felt a little weird being there. Like, I just, like, I get anxiety when I'm in weird places and, or for anything at all. Like, I'm a really anxiety person, but I'm just scared, I guess, CT. I just want everything to go good and I don't want to get too hot. Like, yeah, the hospital was, like, in my tour, like, I was getting hot. Like, ugh. Yeah, they're like, it's a nice temperature in here and I'm, like, standing there fucking sweating my ass off, yeah. not doing anything. Yeah, if Max is sweating, then I'm super hot because sometimes I'm super duper hot and he's like, it's freezing, like, what is wrong with you? So, like, that's, that's like, one of the things I didn't like also, like, it's just it's hot and I get hot fast and if I'm in labor and hot what I don't know I don't even care I'll just go in the shower and turn on the cool water I don't know how it's gonna go I've never done it I guess we'll see <laughs>